The Exa E900 wired gaming headset are Exa's budget headset currently priced at a stunningly low, $32.99, which on the face of it is a really great price point. Out of the box, they come with a leatherette bag that follows the overall color scheme, removable microphone, headphone splitter, which is, uh, well, We'll get into that later. It also comes with a user manual and a two year warranty. But at this price point, is the performance any good? Well, let's find out. Looking at the design, uh, the headset is primarily black with a matte finish. Looks like it could be aluminium, but ultimately it is plastic. There's a red color scheme uh, on the headset, but it's also available in purple and green. Uh, the red does make them pop. It's used really minimalistically on the EXA logo on the ear cups. And there's also an EXA logo nicely placed on the top of the headband. There's just enough flair without the gamer aesthetic being too over the top. The controller is quite large, although the actual volume scroll wheel and the mic on off switch uh, are quite small. Uh, the cable has a rubber shrouding, which is of a lower quality, but reflects the price point that the headset sits at. The Exa E900s being very lightweight, they feel very comfortable on my head. Uh, and that does actually mitigate the budget level cushioning of the headband. I find the clamping force is, it's pretty much almost perfect. It doesn't move around my head. Uh, it doesn't fly free when I'm rapidly turning. It just fits really, really well. And my normal gaming headset, which is a Razer Kraken X, which is at a similar price point. I'm sorry to say it's much worse than the Exa for moving around my head and they need constant adjustment. The ear cups are nicely padded. They fit well, they completely surround my ears. There's no issues for people who wear glasses either, which is great. The lightweight cushion didn't add uh, the pressure that can make glasses just that little bit uncomfortable sometimes. However, after a couple of hours of use, it can get a bit hot and stuffy, which is a fairly big drawback for me. However, you know, the ear cups are detachable, so you can replace them with a more comfortable fit if it suits you. The build quality is a mixed bag. They are very lightweight, which I actually quite like, uh, with an impressive band that's got plenty of bend and flex. Uh, the yokes, very sturdy, been made out of aluminium instead of the plastic that we see in the rest of the headset. The ear cups are plastic, but they are sturdy enough to withstand a drop on the floor. Now the microphone has a, it's a really, really good adjustability and it does hold its position. The actual length of it makes the boom end up kind of like slightly to the side of my mouth. So ultimately you can avoid those uh, breathing sounds. <laughs> Sound quality while gaming is kind of exactly what I'd expect from a budget headset. Overblown bass, trying to hide weaknesses within those mids and highs. The bass is pretty good. It gives me a very sort of like full sound, but the mids and highs are lacking and that all important fidelity. When playing games, you really miss out on the all important positional audio that is just so advantageous in a competitive scenario. Things like footsteps, reloads, and gunfire, it seemingly blends into one overall noise with no sort of direction leaving you wondering where the enemy is. It's a very synthetic sound, and even other headsets like the Corsair HS35 or the Kraken Xs offer a better sound quality for a similar price. The sound quality from the microphone. <sighs> well, when using the included splitter, the microphone has a constant background buzz. This is probably the result of some poor quality cables and shrouding. This really is a low quality splitter and lets down the much more robust cable built into the headset. Without the splitter, it sounds much better and although it is still muffled slightly, which is to be expected at this price point, there is a good fidelity. And if you have a combination jack in your PC, I would highly advise you to use this instead of using the splitter. Overall, the microphone was the primary drawback for this headset and comparing it to the Razer Kraken X, and the Kraken has a better mic quality without the splitter issue of the E900s.
So, at a price point of just $32.99 at the time of this review, the Exit E900s actually seem like a really tempting offer. The sound quality is that classic bass heavy soundscape that most other budget options have, uh, and the mids and highs are a little bit tinny and cheap sounding, but they are really comfortable. The design, it's not too aggressive, and the build quality is very good and robust for this price. If you are just getting into PC gaming, if you are living at a budget, then a budget headset like this could actually fit you very, very well. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing really helps us. Uh, hit the notification bell so you never miss another review from us. And give me a thumbs up. Get in the comments. Is the Exa headset something that you could see yourself buying? Do you like budget headsets? Let me know.